Ladies and gentlemen, now start our final descent. As we prepare for landing, please make sure your seatbelt is fastened, the seat back is upright, the tray table is towed. Also at this time, please unplug all devices from the NC power outlets. Put away all carry-on items, including laptops and devices similar size for landing. Small electronics may be held, placed in your pocket or in the seat back in front of you. But cellular services must remain off until after we landed. Please do a final check around your seat in the seat back pocket in front of you for items you'd like to discard and hand them to us as we pass to the cabin. Please do not leave hand wipes or other items in the seat back pocket. Thank you for your cooperation. It's been a pleasure serving you today. We'll be landing soon. I am so excited to be back in New York, although it's like 16 degrees outside, which is a little crazy. Ignore my voice, I'm still struggling. It's been like 10 days since I've had COVID or like diagnosed and all that stuff, but I'm still like not feeling great. So this is your sign to go get boosted because it's really not fun. But anyway, I obviously got back and I have a lot of packages. So I figured I would do a little bit of a haul slash unboxing for you guys just because why not? Um, also, my mom got me this sweater for Christmas, and it is like the cutest thing ever. It's from Free People. Free People have some of my favorite sweaters. I feel like they're great quality, and they're like the only sweaters in my closet that have like, like, I don't know, like stayed, what is that saying? Lasted the test of time? Is that the saying? Anyway, I, I have them for years, but anyway, let's get into the haul. The first package is from Durf Avenue. A few videos back, I got a pair of black pants from them they're the breezy pants and I really wanted the matching breezy top so I got that <laughs> it's a little bit expensive but I feel like this is a basic that I'm gonna keep in my wardrobe for like forever this is like really cute okay so it's like a little bit thicker than like my normal like button-ups it's just like a black button-up with this cute little pocket but it's a little bit thicker of a material and I like saw them style the whole set together and I definitely will wear that this week and it's just like so cute together and I feel like not only the pants do I feel like I'm gonna get like a lot of wear out of but also the top separately together, all that good stuff. Then I have some Amazon packages. Okay, so I got these light bulbs. These are like the smart ones that um, are connected to Alexa, which I really love. I'm getting a new light fixture for my living room. I like just like sent it and did it. So I'm waiting for like the shade to arrive, but I wanted to do the smart light bulbs. That way I can like change the color of the light in my living room. And also I don't have a bulb for my bedside table yet. I like my lamp on my bedside table. I don't know what I've been doing, but I don't have one. So I figured I'd pick those up and if I'm gonna have to buy a light bulb. I might as well get one that's like cool. Um, oh no. Oops, I ordered two of these. I did not mean to do that. Okay, well, one of these is gonna have to be returned. Got this pendant light. I don't know if you guys can see that for like my living room. And this is what the shade is going to be like attached to. I'm gonna have to get a task rabbit, I think, in order to put it up because I don't know anything about like electric wiring and all of that stuff. But I have been wanting to add like a chandelier in my apartment and now that I'm staying here an extra year, I was like, I might as well just like do it now and enjoy it for at least like the rest of the year. And I feel like it'll accentuate my high ceilings. So I bought that. I will share with you guys the shade when it comes in, but I think it's a back order for a little while at least. Um, and then my sister got me for Christmas a new phone case. She was like asking me what I wanted for Christmas and I had like a little bit of a mishap with my phone and long story short, it was put in the water like a while back. Not by me though, not by me. And so I had to get a new phone and my mom picked it up for me. And so she just like bought, why is this so hard to open? She just bought me like a black phone case cause she didn't know what I wanted. And while that's fun and everything, I feel like everyone thinks their phone is mine and it's just like a, it's just a pain. I wanted something fun and cool i love case Pies cases i know every youtuber is like sponsored by them but i honestly enjoy their cases they're as good as everyone says they are love that they're like a little bit more friendly to the planet oh my god this is so cute are we kidding oh my god it's this cute little blue case which is like kind of crazy for me because i don't ever buy anything with color but blue and like pink are like the two colors that i really go for if i'm going for color and then it says 
back up on it. Peel this off. So satisfying. Oh, is there another one? I think there's another one. There we go. Oh my god, this is like so cute. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me get my phone and put my phone on it. If I can find my phone. Where is my phone? Aha, found it. Okay. Let me put this case on. So I just have like a black case on it right now, which is fine. And it honestly, it's done its job. And I'm definitely gonna keep it in case I get like sick of the blue. God. I wish I was someone who like didn't drop their phone all the time because there's something about like just a plain iPhone. It's like so satisfying, but I, I drop my phone all the time. Oh my God, it's so cute. I was a little nervous cause like they really showed this blue with the, um, white cases I mean the white phones and I actually kind of love it with the black because it's like more subtle like it doesn't look as crazy as like blue that looks sick and I love that it says my name on it that's so so cute I love it. it's just like a little tint of blue which is kind of nice um so yeah so that's the haul I will check back in with you guys later when I'm running a very exciting errand, which I will share with you guys later. So the time has come. I am so excited about this. I can't even begin to tell you. I wonder if you guys know what it is. I am finally, finally going to pick up my sweater that I knit. I finished it. I brought it there. She's finishing it for me, like putting it all together. She said that it would be like better if she put it together just so that it'll last like years and years and all that good stuff where like if I put it together, it might not like stay, but I did all the knitting. Keep that in mind. I did all the knitting, but I'm so excited. The lady who runs the store actually called me while I was in Florida and she's like, oh, your sweater's ready. And I was like, oh my God. And then I got COVID. So I'm picking up really, really late, but I'm just so excited because I've been wanting to see this sweater finish for so long. I've been working on it for like months. Like I've been knitting this sweater for probably three months, but anyway, let's head to the knitting store. I'm also going to get some help on the new sweater that I'm knitting because I was like trying to like decrease stitching or whatever. And I like totally screwed it up. So I need help with that, but let's head to West Village Knit Needle. Are we ready for the sweater reveal? I don't know if we're ready, but here we go. Ah, you guys, it's done. How cute is it? I rolled the sleeves because it's like a little bit, it's a little bit big. It's definitely like not the most like shapely sweater that there is, but like, guys, I full on knit this myself. Like I did it, I knit this sweater. How cool is that? It's like so pretty. She like asked me if I wanted this sewn up a little bit more, but I honestly kind of like it open. It looks like a, just like a giant poncho. I am so excited about this. I am gonna FaceTime my mom and show her cause she's gonna just like lose her marbles. Oh my God. Isn't it so cute? It's so cute. Yeah. It's like oh so God. heavy. What? It's like so heavy. Like it's. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's so heavy. Oh, I love it though. That's exactly what you wanted. Right? I know. It's perfect. It's so cute. Got. Oh my god. Do I have a delicious bell? So my mom got me this new tripod for Christmas and I absolutely love it, but I'm still trying to figure it out. It uses like suction cups, which is great, but I just don't trust that it's not gonna fall and break my camera because it's like almost fallen a couple times. But anyway. So I'm just popping in here in the future editing this and I have no idea why my camera made my skin look like a Smurfs, but I just wanna let you guys know that that lighting is just tragic. So I'm really sorry about that, um, but back to the grocery haul. Let's get into the grocery haul. The first thing that I got was a box of Topo Chico. It's like my favorite bubbly water. 
and my parents like always have bubbly water when I'm home and I always forget how much I like it. It's just such a hassle to get it in the city because it's so heavy and I feel so bad having the delivery person carry it up. But I got a case of that because I need to stay hydrated in these winter months. I got some nutritional yeast, some cinnamon and spice oatmeal, just for like a quick meal. I ran out of salt, two avocados, a shallot, a lemon, some cashews, a lime. I got these grain-free tortilla chips. This brand is like so yummy. They're gluten-free, but I honestly just really enjoy the taste of them. And then I also got some walnuts. Most of that stuff is for a recipe. I'm going to be doing the baked by Melissa, like chopped salad thing that looks like wok, even though there's not avocado in it. I'm going to be making that salad later this week. And then I got two kinds of like vegetarian, like nugget kind of things. I got the buffalo cauliflower wings. This brand is like really, really good. I think they're made for children, but I eat them and they're great. And then I also got these chicken nuggets that are, I think they're made from corn, but they're really good. They're like my favorite. I've had these since I was like a kid and they're just so yummy. And I got some frozen corn, cabbage, some tortillas to make some wraps for lunch, some chives, spinach, cucumbers, last and probably certainly least um lettuce so that is what i got for this week trying to eat a little bit healthier because it's the new year but yeah that's it i'm gonna put this way now i am on my way to go get my headshots done i'm a little nervous for some reason because well this is the first time i'm not having a hair and makeup person because my manager wants me to take like a bunch of makeup free shots and I'm not really like weird because I like honestly most days I don't wear makeup but it just feels weird and so I'm nervous about it but hopefully I'll be able to get some shots in at the uh, place for you guys but like I said it's only an hour session so it's going to be a little chaotic so I don't know how much I'm going to get but I will do my best but in the meantime I'm going to get there. Bye. So it is the next day. I got ready this morning and I'm wearing my sweater. I'm gonna wear it to work. I'm like so excited. I just paired it with some gold hoops. I put um, a white t-shirt under because I'm not 100% sure. Well, I can't like throw this in the wash. I'm gonna have to dry clean it. So I figured I'd have a shirt under it so it doesn't get really dirty. And then I'm wearing my gray trousers with it. But anyway, it's 12.50. I kinda wanna make some lunch. So I figured I'm gonna make this baked by Melissa on TikTok salad recipe it's like her green goddess sal salad recipe so yeah so the first thing i'm gonna do is chop up the cabbage and a cucumber um i i'm gonna do like half of this and only one cucumber i have multiple cucumbers but i figured it's gonna go bad really easily if i cut all of it so i figured i'd do half of this and make like the whole sauce and everything but just do half of like the base for right now just to keep it fresh. I figured I'd also mention that I'm just gonna chop everything using this machine. If you don't have one of these things, you like honestly need one, you just pull the lever and like it dices everything for you. It makes chopping so much easier. So that is how I'm gonna be chopping up all of my produce. After I've chopped up my onion and my cabbage, I added chives and green onion to the mixture. Also, don't ever buy green onion. It like regenerates itself. So if you just put it in water, change the water every few days, keep it in your fridge, and honestly, it just keeps growing. So save yourself some money there. And then for the sauce, I added olive oil, a shallot, spinach, nutritional yeast, walnuts, cashews, rice vinegar, and I think that's it, into here, and then I'm gonna blend this up. I just finished the salad. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm going to be serving it with the Topo Chico. This is some really awesome sparkling water with a little lemon lime. And then she paired hers with some tortilla chips. So she basically dipped a chip in it like it is guac. So let's do a little taste test, shall we? Oh God, my chips are breaking. Mm. 
Okay. I'm gonna add a little salt to this because I feel like it needs a little salt, but it's pretty good. It's not as good as I was hoping it was gonna be for how much like chopping and everything it required, but honestly a really great healthy meal to get in your greens and the texture is like spot on. So if you're like weird about salads and textures, this is definitely the salad for you. But I'm going to enjoy this and I don't know what the rest of the day holds. I mean, I have work, but it's like 1.20. So I've got a few minutes before I have to leave to work, but I'm going to eat this and enjoy this and cheers. <laughs> So I just got out of the shower. It is Saturday. I did a little bit of work this morning. I also want to pop in and let you guys know that I'm actually starting another job, like, which is just crazy. I'm working another social media job and I'm just really excited. Um, it seems like a really awesome opportunity, but that also means that I'm working now three jobs, two like full part-time jobs essentially and one like I call it like a quarter job, like it's five hours, five to seven hours a week. Um, so there's a lot going on, <laughs> but I, I'm just really excited. But today is so cold. It is, I think 10 degrees outside and like it feels like negative something because of the wind chill. Randall has a grooming appointment today, so I'm gonna have to bring him there. I need to shoot something for one of my jobs and get that like done today just because I fell kind of behind this week so I'm just gonna do it today also I forgot about this robe I like had this robe and I totally forgot about it and it's officially like thick robe season so it was like so nice getting out of the shower into this like really cozy robe then I need to do a couple of things today as well I need to take down my Christmas tree it's still up which is so embarrassing it's like January 13th like the Christmas tree needs to go down I just like haven't had time that's a lie i definitely have had time i just like it makes me so sad so i don't want to take it down but that needs to be done today i also might go to home depot because i kind of want to get a new rug for my living room just because this one has gotten like kind of gross i didn't think it through when i bought it i have like a white shag rug if you don't know and between like randall even though i wipe his paws off every single time he comes into the apartment between him and like dust and it's also shag so like even when I vacuum I feel like I'm not fully getting it clean it just has like gotten kind of gross and it just wasn't it wasn't the right move I, I should have thought that through better my mom told me like not to do it and I did it anyway because I like the look of white shag rugs and they're like so soft but it just like looks honestly like gross now so I think I'm gonna go to Home Depot because I know they have like pretty good cheap area rugs i just like don't want to spend a ton of money like i was looking at ones on etsy and they were just so expensive and i just feel like with having a dog and living in new york city rugs just get gross so there really isn't a point of me like spending a decent amount of money on it but i figured i'd maybe go to home depot and check out their rugs there so i might like do that after i drop randall off at the groomer might go like from there to Home Depot um, but we'll see how the day takes us it's freezing cold so after that I definitely am gonna like sit inside all day and like read a book or something because it's too cold to be outside for too long um, but yeah so I'm gonna shoot that thing that I need to shoot and I'll check back in with you guys probably when I'm leaving for the groomers and that stuff <laughs> I just dropped Randall off. The poor guy was like shaking. He did not want to be there, but now I'm going to head to Home Depot. Okay, I just got back from my little trip out. I dropped Randall off at the groomer. He is still not back, which makes me so sad. Like I hate being in my apartment without my dog. Like it just feels really weird and I hate, I literally hate the feeling. And then I went to Home Depot to look for rugs and I didn't really have very much success. The one that I really, really, you guys are on this like suction cup tripod. And I'm hearing some weird noises and I'm really hoping it's not going to fall. But anyway, 
Um, the rug that I liked, they're not sure until Monday if it comes in the size that I need. I'm still not 100% sold on it, so I think I'm going to look... Oh my god. See what I'm talking about? Okay, hopefully it's stuck this time. So anyway, I think I might like look online just because like, I'm not 100% sold on it. Um, and then I was walking home and I passed an Aritzia. And my mom got me a gift card for Christmas, which is so sweet of her. And I was like, you know what? Let me just like pop in and like see if they have this coat that I'm looking for. And they didn't have it in the color, but they did have it in the size that I wanted. So I tried that on. It's the Aritzia slouch coat, if you're wondering. Um, so I ordered that in black. I guess there was only like two left in the country. So I'm so glad I went in today and ordered it. So I'll show that to you guys when it comes. They're just having it shipped to my house. Um, and then I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts and got a hot chocolate because it's so cold outside and I did so much walk. Oh my God. And I did so much walking today that I was like, you know what? Let's give myself a little warm treat. So I'm just waiting on Randall to be done. I think they'll give me a call. He should be done in like the next like half an hour. And then I will head that way and then come home and chill because I've done a lot of walking today. I definitely have walked like over seven miles already. So I need to chill out but in the meantime I think I might take down my tree <sighs> so sad so sad because you won't I guarantee you by sharing the vulnerabilities because otherwise yeah. as long as I keep it off Twitter it's I literally just took down exclusively the star and they called me saying that Randall was done so I'm gonna go grab him and then finish up this tree situation after. Hey man, you look so handsome. Let me see your haircut. You look so handsome. Look at daddy, it's a boy. Thank you. I got curry and spring rolls for dinner and I'm really, really excited. This is just gorgeous. This is everything I needed.